Good morning and welcome to our Grace Lutheran Church mini Sunday school lesson. Let's start by singing a hymn. Let us ever walk with Jesus, follow his example pure. Through a world that would deceive us, and to sin our spirits lure. Onward in his footsteps treading, pilgrims hear our home above. Full of faith and hope and love, let us do the Father's bidding, faithful Lord with me abide. I shall follow where you guide. Let us also live with Jesus, he has risen from the dead that to life we may awaken. Jesus, you are now our head. We are your own living members. Where you live, there we shall be. In your presence constantly. Living there with you forever, Jesus, let me faithful be. Life eternal grant to me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Our reading is from Luke chapter 24 which is situated on the afternoon of Easter Sunday. Jesus himself stood among his disciples and said to them, Peace to you. But, when they were, but they were startled and frightened and thought they saw a ghost. And he said to them, Why are you troubled and why do doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when Jesus had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still disbelieved for joy and were marveling, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it before them. Then Jesus said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then Jesus opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sin should be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So our little mini-sermon today is Jesus at the center of the scriptures. So first question I have for you, what's the best part of an Oreo? Well, it's the middle, right? I know a story about uh, somebody who, who had taken out like the, the filling from six or seven different Oreos and made it a nice stack, and they were going to eat it, and then their dad came by and grabbed it and ate all the frosting from the middle and really disappointed them. Yes, of course, the best part of an Oreo is its center. And similarly, what does our solar system revolve around? The sun, the most important part of our solar system is the center of the sun because without the light from the sun we could not have life at all. In a similar way in the Bible Jesus is the best part and everything revolves around him. So that's why I've got this picture of Jesus which is showing him with his nail pierced hand and uh, both of his hands and raising his hand in peace to them. That's the, uh, the, the Jesus from the middle of our sanctuary, right in the middle of the Bible, because the, the, the Bible is all about Jesus. Now, on that Easter afternoon, when Jesus appeared to them, they were really surprised. They really didn't think that Jesus was going to come back from the, bed, the dead. And so, they thought they were seeing a ghost. That's why Jesus tells them, give me some food to eat so that I can prove to you that a ghost has flesh and blood. We have an, that other story from John's Gospel where Thomas wouldn't believe, and Jesus says, go ahead and put your hand in my side. And this is a famous painting 
by an artist named Caravaggio showing Thomas looking into the side of Jesus, even putting his finger in there. It's very realistic. And this is really important for our Christian faith because we want to recognize that our Savior, God the Son, who came down from heaven and became the man Jesus Christ, suffered and died in the flesh, but rose in the flesh. And that shows that for us, our bodies too, after we have died and have been raised with Jesus, will be flesh and blood bodies, just like the body of Jesus. Um, we also have an image here of Jesus taking some bread and fish off of the table to eat to prove to them that he is alive. So Jesus then goes on after he's proven that he's physically there, flesh and blood, living. He goes on to explain to them that he is the center of the scriptures and everything in it is about him. And so when we're reading the Bible from Genesis all the way through Revelation, we need to realize that the main point as that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, that by believing in him we have life in his name. And we need to realize that all of the Bible is about him. And we need to be looking for all the wonderful things about him as we study the scriptures. This is also why our church is built the way it is. We've got Jesus in the center, right? Right above the altar. We've got him crucified for us on the, uh, on the crucifix. Then we have the, the Jesus from the upper room showing his hands to his disciples right there at the center and when we celebrate the lord's supper where is the body and blood of jesus right there on the altar right at the center we also have right at the center of our our church's aisle our baptismal font because that is the way that we are brought into the christian church given new life with christ buried with him in his death raised up to new life with him through our baptism and Jesus says, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we give thanks to you for coming down from heaven to be our redeemer from sin, from death, and for hell. Saving us from our sins and rising on Easter to win eternal life for us. Thank you for baptizing us to make us beloved children of the Heavenly Father. And for bringing us into the Holy Christian Church where you continue to feed and nourish our faith. Sustain our faith as long as we live, that one day we might see you in heaven and enjoy the gift of resurrection to life eternal. We ask all this in your holy name. Amen. And let us confess our Christian faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Let's close with praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. God bless you, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.